Hello everyone, welcome back and I'll be playing um, my part 12 for the Code Vein playthrough. So uh, the uh, playthrough above is like my normal one and it's like taking me over 30 hours of just like... Because it just took me so long at the start when I was learning Code Vein. <clears throat> but the boss after this one is extremely hard. So my next part is like going to be the most probably difficult fight. I've already done it once which took me two hours which I'm going to have to do it again. Alright, teleport to that place. So I've got to get to the uh, the desert kind of area. Searching through the mountains is tough work. It's steep here. Don't slip. This place looks different. That was close. Just as ordered, a new ladder. Who needs ladders? So before when I when I came um huh. here a while ago, the door's locked. But you have to kill that big uh, wolf, and then you can come um, into this door, pretty much. So I'm definitely going to be like trying to kill everything I can to try get as much level up as I can to make the next area as easy as possible. But. Look, there used to be just ruins here, but now they've been turned into a desert. The successor who created this crypt used their very last ounce of strength as they struggled to resist their relic. The wind scattered salt from a dried up lake over the land nearby, making it barren. Now it's the same kind of desolate place as the one where Eva was born. She and I promised each other that if one of us fell to the thirst, the other would have the last of their humanity. Eva is waiting for me, just over there. I'm talking too much. Anyway, I'm going on ahead. This is between me and Eva. We need to hurry too. We can't reach over there, can we? Mm -hmm. So it won't open. Okay, so I have to get around from that ladder to open up that. We'll go this way first. Lose your balance. There's something in the sand. The sand steals Icor. <laughs> You have to take whatever you can use. 
you can definitely farm uh, like your points to like upgrade yourself pretty easily in this place, but even better in the next place, like you're getting like 11,000 and stuff. I'm guessing like the higher the area you go, the sort of more points you get per enemy in that. Oh, what is that? These guys give you uh, 6,000, so they're, they're, they're probably going to help me get up a lot of levels and all that. I will say this guy's not really worth it. You, you don't get. I think you only get eight thousand, and he's like extremely powerful, as you can see. If I was you, I'd best just to come and pick up what you had to pick up over there and get out. It's not worth it. That thing's like a boss on its own. this way. So I learned that the stabbing move right here, it actually pushes over a lot of enemies, which can like give you the advantage of like taking them um, Sort of hitting them while they're on the ground. Right. Damn it. I don't know what my guy was doing. I was locked onto that one enemy, but it would like keep attacking whatever it is, is attacking in the first place here. Back up, huh? No harm in being prepared. Well, there's more uh, 
points for me. distance. Let's go this way. Oh, I didn't expect to see that stuff here. I was gonna heal up and then go into it, but that doesn't really matter because it like it heals up all your health anyway. All right, level ninety-two for this. <clears throat> and before I do the next area, I'm definitely going to leave up my we um, weapon as much as I can. Okay, the worst idea the is to run down there up. right at the start and get pick up that blue thing. You'll pretty much get stunned. And keep getting hit by those balls until you eventually die to your death. No way, we went around here, so we got up to the higher ground. Um. Sorry. I could get like a um sand seems to go on forever, huh? Hey, over there. It's a ladder, isn't it? I if I could like uh like get a save point where I could teleport back up here, I'd go back the other way, but 
I'm going to go back the other way. I think this way is more closer and going towards the boss. I sort of would like to um, explore the whole area before taking on the boss. So then I can just keep trying. And Okay, what was even down there? No idea. Big cul de sac. Well, let's move. <clears throat> okay, so that's one of the bigger ones that are. Okay, so going around there just takes you back to here anyway. So that goes a little bit easier than the other dude that I was trying to fight before that gives you the exact same amount of points. Alright, I need to try to uh, find a saving, like a checkpoint. Okay, I remember this doing something. Right, okay. It opens up that door for that starting area, so you can teleport back to the start and go up that way. Opened up. Instead of having to run around the whole um the whole area again. I mean it's probably worth it to go grab the uh the save point and the um restoring all my uh heals and all that. And then there's going to be more enemies, and I could also level up real quick. Alright, two levels, hell yeah. The decision is yours. Have you 
pretty bummed if you Sorry, Yakimo. Oh, you've got to be kidding, right? I've got to kick the ladder down. God. Damn it. <laughs> okay. So I've got to go kick that ladder down. Here's a fight that looks interesting. See, just like that is what I was talking about when you can like hit enemies over big enemies. And then you can just get a bunch of hits into them. I do it for the next area with the queen uh, enemies. They like queen knights. I gotta remember that ladder right there. <clears throat> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go over the other way, and I'm gonna see what's over there. And if it like gets close to getting to the boss, that I think I'll go back and I'll come back here. Like I don't think it, it really works for the um like the really really like sort of bigger enemies like the big juggernaut kind of guys, but it works for like sort of tall, the armored knights and a lot of those kind of guys and even some of those it does work on. Okay, that'll be good, that then I can come up there instead of having to run all the way around. I thought Yakimo just jumped off. Okay, so I think that way is actually the way to the boss, but I'm going to go and um, see what that other way is. Because I don't actually think I went there at all. Don't 
Don't run too far ahead. Keep your eyes open. Another one of these. I can't see the bottom. Don't slip. It was literally just that, I think, but still worth it, I guess. All right, it'll be really cool to like kill that boss on the first attempt, but man, I don't think that's gonna happen. Look at this. <laughs> Let the other one come out. Alright, this is definitely it. I don't exactly have enough heals for this either. Missing scene E. Suck out too much. These humans die easily from blood loss. Are you really sure it's safe for us to be snatching humans like this? If one of Silva's dogs gets wind of what we're doing, they're the ones sitting pretty and getting fat with their levies. We have our rights. You're so annoying. Stop that ear splitting rat. rat. I had the chance to read your letter. Unfortunately, I can't grant your request. I'll come straight to the point. There's no future in the Revenant. Don't throw your life away. Forget the past and live as best you can here. <laughs> These memories are probably the most boring part of Code Vein. I'd normally skip them, but just because I'm doing like a, a playthrough, I don't really want to. <clears throat> but on that playthrough that I've got like 30 something hours, I've skipped all of those. So, just I knew I was going to be like watching them or doing them through the main game or through my playthrough. Have I Not really. I've got like no heals at all.
Is that not? Making sure your gear is good. So I think that's a big one, like a big heal up. Oh, I'm gonna need that. don't have to fight anymore. Don't worry. It's all gonna be okay. I'll take on the relics now. <laughs> don't try to stop me. That could have gone bad for Jack. This boss is not easy though, this boss is a pain in the butt. <clears throat> I think it took me like 7 attempts, or maybe more, in total on my, my playthrough. Without video. say no to taking it a bit of damage on to Jesus You know I need I need a lot more heals so I can keep healing up. So this time it's going to be a lot better. This elevator is safe, right? I damn hope so. Thanks to that letter. I'm hoping this only takes me like that one attempt or two attempts in total. That'd be. Alright, level 94. Hmm. 
I don't exactly know what I was in the last, like, when I was playing this, but I know, like, on my later, like, the one that I've done 30 hours on, I leveled up a lot on the, the area after this. But I've nearly gained the same amount of level in like half the time it, t it took me on that other playthrough because I was just like I was dying so much with like so much of those co like souls because I wasn't as good at the game and I'd like lose them in silly ways. Second phase gets a bit silly though. Keep doing this big damage just with this silly attack. Second attempt is pretty damn cool. 102,000 uh, ruins or whatever you call them. Oh yeah. So, it's over. No, this isn't the end. Come on. Let's go see her again. What do you say? That's... It's not possible. First with Jack, I was just a possession owned by revenants. My throat was ruined. I couldn't even speak. But he took me in without a second thought. I always felt that I was in his debt. I have a naturally high compatibility. So, if there's any way that my body could possibly be of use to him, then it is his, even if it costs me my humanity. You're finally awake, Jack. Are you still in pain? I must have fallen asleep, but I'm fine. Don't waste your voice on me. 
That's pretty damn bright. <laughs> I'm afraid I can't obey that order. I enjoy singing for you too much. Oops, I think I pressed the button. <laughs> I think that was the end anyway. It was just going to be walking to that door and then it would it'd come to this cutscene here. I pressed my, um, my R1, so I was like, started to run, but I forgot you can't really run, so... first met you, I had absolutely nothing. You gave me the light of hope. And my voice. Don't be sad, Jack. From the moment I took on my role, I knew this would eventually be my fate. But I was still happy. Because I was with you. Yeah. Me too. Your mission is an important one. So go on and burn bright while the candle of life still burns. Eva, will you sing for me again? One last time. Yeah, I just, I'd, I'd hate just like someone you knew just started turning to rock.
happy ever after for everyone other than the Jack. <laughs> no jokes. All right. Right. I'm gonna go after Mido. Wait. How do you even know where he is? He's performed countless experiments on the relics. And now, he's stolen the ones inside Eva. I think I know what his plan is. Reviving the Queen. In order to do that, he'll have to take Silva's relic as well. So... Silva's a successor. That's not the only problem. The Red Mist, the jail of the mists that covers the world and deepens Revenant's bloodthirst. The one who created it is none other than Silva. What? Why would Silva do that? Soldiers were needed to fight the Queen when she frenzied. Since humanity had already suffered significant losses, Revenants were created to swell the ranks. In the end, we succeeded in stopping the Queen. But there are still a lot of humans living in the world outside. Without the Red Mist, both starving Revenants and the Lost would be able to roam freely. It was created to prevent further tragedy. Though, I have to admit, if every Revenant was like you, it wouldn't have been as much of a concern. We'll take the path to the fortress. With speed and a little luck, we might catch it. Like going to like get to the next area really quick and like so then it's ready for the next time I start recording instead of like this time where I had to go back to the frozen that frozen area and then and don't forget those who carry a relic are always at risk of frenzy don't let your guard down not even for a moment Sharp eyes, kid. Two incredibly hard bosses are coming up. Well, I should actually probably level up really quick. <clears throat> I should be able to gain up two levels, maybe three. This way leads to the fortress, huh? Let's head out when you're ready. Um, 
<clears throat> so this is where it ends up, huh? All right, so I'll uh, end it here. Thanks, thank you all for watching, and I'll uh, see you in part thirteen when I uh, do it. <clears throat> all right.